Hello everyone, my name is Eric Miller and I'm a passionate mortgage expert and this is Mortgage in a Minute. If you want to win it, Mortgage in a Minute. If you really want to win it, Mortgage in a Minute. As I have shared, sometimes wordiness does not equal happy viewers and subscribers. And as many of you know, there's quite a few wordy videos on this channel. So in this case, I'm going to try to be much more efficient and I'm gonna to try to get you some mad hot mortgage information in a super compact form, like that canned orange juice in the freezer section. Only unlike that canned orange juice, this thing's not gonna be cold, this is gonna be hot. And the juice, there's some kind of thing there where the juices connect. It's gonna be full of juice, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be hot juice. <laughs> but hot juice is gross, hot juice is gross. But you get what I'm saying, anyway. As always, I'm going to pick a totally random topic from this cup of knowledge and connect it to an important mortgage element, and then I'm going to rock and sock as much information as possible while fighting a countdown clock of 1 minute and 59 seconds, making this video mortgage in a minute and 59 seconds if necessary. Okay, I'm going to pick from the cup, totally random. Here comes the topic, could be anything, we don't even know, just so you know, look at that, okay, here we go. The topic is, well, this is almost too easy. It's, the topic is wave particle duality. And there you can see it fuzzy so you know that I'm serious. Today we're going to talk about down payment. I know this sounds like a quick and easy, no problem. To buy a house, you just need to put money down or don't. This is a big topic and it's going to be difficult to finish in one minute and 59 seconds or less but I have a distinct advantage. I can talk fast. <laughs> okay, let's look at what I wrote back here, what I fake wrote. Okay, so here's the different things. No money down, 3% down, 3.5% down, 5% down, 10% down, 20% down, and for those of you that are still reading with me, 25% down. There it is, isn't it glorious? Okay. We're going to be talking about all seven of those things. Whew, seven things, that's a lot. Okay, so without starting the clock though, I first want to expand on what a breakpoint is because I think this might be helpful in understanding the bigger picture in the lending universe. You might have heard the term breakpoint before, um, but it does change things and it, it helps to kind of define it with respect to not only down payment, but also credit scoring, interest rate, and other facets. Simply put, a breakpoint is a line in which Right, I'm going to make hand parentheses, in which things get better, cheaper or easier, or worse, more expensive or harder, okay? So an example of a breakpoint on a credit score would be 620, um, because you can, you can do loans easily above 620, and below 620 you can't, so that's a breakpoint. Now I've got a video coming up on this, and other breakpoints, and what I feel like is very cleverly titled, Breakpoint, which obviously is also going to be themed with bank robbing surfers. Um, but that's another video for another time. <clears throat> I hope you will subscribe to this channel, ring the bell, like this video, all that, but mostly I just want to take a minute and say thank you for watching and I'm really grateful that you've come here and I hope this information is helpful to you. Okay, any questions or if I can be a further help, please don't hesitate to reach out. Now, let's get down to business. Oh yeah, <clears throat> clock, okay, make sure it's got 1 minute 59 seconds on it topic is down payment. You know what we're going to do. Ready? Go. Okay. When you're buying a house, there are several different options for down payment. You can buy a home with no money down uh, in the following instances. VA loan, USDA loan, or down payment assistance loan. I'm going to have to do a different video on the program specifics, so check that out later. And believe me, there are programs that are specific to your situation, so you can call me right after this or you can check out that new video. What's important to remember here is that you may not need money for a down payment, but you will definitely need money for closing costs, which again will depend on your exact situation. Okay, let's go. The least amount that's not zero is an FHA loan at 3.5% down or conventional in some instances with 3% down. The big difference between these two programs is that not everyone qualifies for the 3% down conventional, while FHA is considered the easiest to qualify. 5% down is the next threshold, and this is primarily for conventional loans. Can you put 5% down on an FHA or VA? Yes, but what we're talking about here are the minimum required for the program guidelines. 
5% is a common option and like other options where the first lien loan is greater than 80%, there is mortgage insurance. What's nice is that compared to the FHA, there's no upfront cost for the mortgage insurance, which means that it will fall off eventually. The next level is 10% down. This is the minimum that you need if you're gonna buy a second home. It's also a good starting point for buying a primary as well because with a decent credit score, the monthly MI is super reasonable and since you don't have to pay up front for the MIP uh, on, a, as, on any conventional loan, it's a good way to preserve your cash. I could go on, but I need to go on. 20% down. This is a good option when you're buying a primary residence because there's no mortgage insurance at all. But it also represents the starting point for purchasing an investment property. 25% down. This is really the last big break point in terms of getting the best deal for the interest rate when buying a home as an investment property. In my opinion, if you're looking to purchase an investment property, 25% down is usually the way to go because there's a mighty difference between 20 and 25% down. Boom, I did it. Woo! All right, you know what? I rocked it. I rocked it for you. I knew I could do it. Um, and uh, we're gonna give you a bonus. Bonus. 100% down. If you put 100% down plus closing costs, you will own your house completely. I'm gonna turn off my timer. That's it for me. Thank you for watching Mortgage in a Minute, where we had a three minute intro and at least seven commercials, but I made five good points and only two lame ones. Overall, I'd say I crushed it. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. And I will see you next time. Oh,